Baby, I have a confession. All right, you can see that looks good already. We don't even have any beans or tomatoes in it yet. All right, welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. Coming at you from the kitchen today. All right, so uh, shout out to uh, Ray Mac over on Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Um, I'm actually doing a uh, cooking video today. So here are my ingredients actually for my chili. I'm actually going uh, Food Lion brand style. I actually had a uh, recipe that I used to do, cook chili a lot. Uh, when we lived in Florida, so I'm running with that recipe. Uh, I actually saved it, so I got uh, three cans of these chili beans from uh, Food Line. So three of those. Also part of my recipe, I have uh, two cans of the actual Food Line brand black beans. Uh, so I'm running with those, and I'm also going with the uh, petite uh, hunts. Uh, tomatoes here, so I have uh, actually uh, two cans of those that are going to be going in there. Alright, so we also have some ground turkey that we're going to be working out in there as well. And my seasoning of choice uh, for this particular chili is actually the McCormick uh, chili, and it's hot, so we're working with that. Alright, and I'm also going to give a shout out to my mother, um, because this recipe also calls for chow chow. And um, you can see I have some uh, homemade chow chow here that we're going to be working up in this chili today. All right, so we're going to get this all worked together. First, I'm, going to I'm actually going to brown the actual ground beef and also actually ground turkey. Correct. Oh, and I can't forget my one sweet onion. So I have a sweet onion that's going to be going in there. So that ground turkey and uh, this sweet onion, we're going to work those together. And uh, we're also going to have this going in with it. So we have our, our dynamic three here that's going to be making this chili come together from the bottom up. Alright, so you're getting the million dollar view as I bring this up right down into my skillet. I'm gonna get a little oil going in here. We're gonna get this onion cut up. And we're gonna make this happen. Alright, so we're gonna hit that with just a little bit of EVOO. Get that warm. Get our onion cut up. Alright, so we're just gonna work this onion like this. I'm just gonna cut it in half. Nothing fancy about it. I'm gonna cut it again. Cut it again. Get our little bottom off there. Same thing over here. Get all that out the way. So that's the skin gone. Nice and easy there. Yeah, we have some some friends coming over. I we'll have a little fish going, a little chili. Fall weather. Fall weather is upon us, so good time for some chili. Alright, so we're just going to get this onion chopped up. Nothing fancy to this. I don't care if it's a little chunky. And I actually do also have some um, another ingredient that I didn't tell you about. And that's actually a, uh, a stir fry mix, you know, with the green peppers and the red peppers and the onions all in there together so I have that going into this chili as well all right so that's the onions coming up one last piece shout out to my mother-in-law she got me this knife about I don't know three four five Christmases ago it's been a good knife I think inspired by uh, Rachel Ray watching her cook whatnot and uh, mother-in-law used to live with us for a bit, so good knife. All right, so the onions are ready to go. So we're gonna go on into the skillet with them. We got some little heat there going. There we go. You can hear our sear happening. That's good. We'll let those get happy for a minute. Perfect. So that's getting happy. Good. We're going to come back with our ground turkey. Alright, ground turkey over the top. Get that in there, work that in. 
That's going to come together real nice. Yeah, chili doesn't take long. I mean, chili is actually one of those dishes that keep it simple for the most part. Know what ingredients you like, what flavor you're going for. Doesn't take long at all to bring it up. It's 12.32 right now. Expecting guests here by 1. I might be a few minutes behind schedule, but we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it work. All right, so that's coming up, getting happy. Turn my heat up a little bit there. I probably don't even need to tell you what I was doing that put me a little bit behind schedule. You know, this is a fishing channel after all. But we ain't going to talk about that. We're going to get this chili done. Alright, so you can see that ground turkey is getting happy, turning brown for us. Like I said, this chili does not, does not take long. Oh, and here's the other ingredient I was telling you about. This bird's eye uh, pepper stir fry. You know, so I like, you know, this is actually going to have a little chunky going in there. So uh, we're going to go with that. Give it some color too. So that's in. All right, so now we're going to come back with our McCormick. You see our chili seasoning here. We're going with hot. So um, hopefully there are no faint at heart uh, spicy folk. But, uh, but we got some rice going too, so they can, uh, you know, they can tone it down a little bit. All right, so we're coming right over the top with that. How am I doing, Ray? <laughs> yeah, Ray Mac over at Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill makes it happen on a regular basis. If you haven't already checked out his channel, go over there and check it out. I'm always inspired to do new recipes when I go over and check out Ray's channel. He, uh, he definitely gets it in. All right, you can see that looks good already. We don't even have any beans or tomatoes in it yet. And see, once I get this actually all together, for the last few minutes while we're waiting for people to arrive, I'm actually going to dump this over in my slow cooker and just let it all just get married together real nice. And then I'm going to get into the fish. You guys have seen me cook fish before, so I'm not sure I'm going to record that. But um, as you're listening to this, if you haven't seen any of my fishing videos or would like to see another one, hit me down in the comment box, let me know, and uh, we can certainly make that happen. You can see that look real good already. Looks real good already. I left my S off, so. Alright. That is coming up. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat down a little bit now. Now that's coming up real nice. Alright, so here are my two cans of um, black beans. Um, I do actually like to strain them, so you can see that's why I have my strainer here. Uh, get some of that extra, you know, preservatives and whatnot off of them. So, in they go. You see, that's coming together real nice. So now we're gonna get our chili beans in there, and I'm actually going to—I'm actually going with my three cans of chili beans. I'm actually going to um, leave these. I'm going to put the juice in with them because you know that's part of the recipe. Um, so that flavor that's in here, I actually want to keep. You know, I don't like I said I usually rinse them, but in this case, I do want the flavor of the chili beans to go along with the recipe. So we're going to keep that juice on them. Chili beans going in, can number one. Can number two. Can number three. All right, so we're getting there. So what we have left are our two cans of uh, Hunt's tomatoes and Mama's chow chow. All right, so we're gonna bring that together.
Look, that's coming together real good. All right, my wife's going to love me for this, but I'm going to uh, dirty up another dish. And I'm going to actually switch over now that I got my, you know, the, the core of my chili together here. I'm going to switch to the pot now. All right, give that a nice stir. We are doing great. It's 1243. Still have a good time. As long as nobody's early. <laughs> All right. So we'll get some of our chow chow in there. We're going to go about half. We'll go about half on that jar of chow chow. I can put the whole thing in there. Just gives it like a nice zest. If you've never put chow chow in your chili, you got to try it. All right, we're going to come back with our three cans of tomatoes. And then the chili is just going to relax. I'm actually not going to go to the slow cooker, like I said, um, because now I've gone to this big pot, so I can just turn it down low and let it chill right there. Because, you know, if I dirty up a third dish, I'm going to be in big trouble. All right, so one can. <laughs> She'll watch this and get on me. But... You got to keep it going, right? Yeah, if you like these cooking videos, let me know. Because um, we don't have to be in a box around here at OD5. We can do other stuff. So if you have other videos that you'd like to see me do, more cooking videos, definitely hit me down in the comment box. Um, critique me on this one. What you like, what you don't like about it. Um, obviously, I'm giving you a pot view. And I'm just talking you through it. So hopefully, you know, you have the skills to pay the bills on your own now. If you wanted to go and make your own pot of chili, you can come this same way. This chili right here is it's pretty much ready. Now it's just cooking. Actually, and there is one ingredient that I did forget. One little thing that I like to do. And I'm not really too particular about what kind, but I always hit it with like a tablespoon of barbecue sauce. You know, so you can see right now, today I'm going with a thick and spicy honey barbecue sauce by Kraft. So I hit it with like just, it gives it a little extra sweetness. With that little zest from that chow chow, that heat from that um, that heat from the um, the chili seasoning itself, you know, and you you know you just keep it moving. That's how you do it. So, yeah. And my wife's gonna really be mad at me because you know what I forgot to do. <laughs> my wife doesn't really eat meat, and I was supposed to set her some chili aside. So y'all pray for me because. Uh, She's not going to be happy. But I am cooking fish, so she will be able to eat fish. But um, that's my bad. I should have I should have set her some aside, and I forgot to do that in my haste. So uh, that's the chili. All right. So uh, you can see. Looks good. I, I'll, I'll put some in a bowl for you, just so you can see how it looks in a bowl. Although it's going to cook for a few more minutes. All right. This is how it's going to look coming together here. You know, if I was going to serve you a bowl, this one, this one's for you. Alright, you take this one with you. Alright, let me hand it up to you. Alright, there you go. Alright, enjoy. Okay, um, I'm back. And uh, she's back. And um, baby, I have a confession. What'd you do, um, I forgot to leave meat out of your chili. Oh, that's okay. That's fine. Okay, guys, I was wrong. She didn't go off. 